potentially serious situation is evolving for Luzon right now. As of 10 p.m. Philippine time, Super Typhoon Goni was located at 16.1 degrees north, 130.6 degrees east. It is moving westward and closing in on Luzon right now. Based on its extraordinary satellite appearance, we are giving it 190 miles per hour, that's 305 kilometers per hour, and a pressure of 895 millibars. The storm right now is moving west at 8 miles per hour, that's 10 kilometers per hour. Where the storm is forecast to make landfall in Luzon, it is HH6 on the CDPS scale. The CDPS scale is currently looking at Umi Ray still for its potential landfall area, as I said, at stage 6 on the CDPS scale which is quite catastrophic given that the storm is still a Category 5 and forecast to make a Category 4 landfall. Right now, this is where the storm is located right now, still pretty far from any landfall areas. However, it is closing in, and with winds of 190 miles per hour, it is a very intense storm. However, tropical storm force winds only extend about 70 miles out from the center, so impacts from this storm will be pretty limited to close to the storm's center. So we may not be seeing that much impact from this storm in terms of distances from the storm. Right now the storm is located 494 miles from Cameroon, 515 from Legazpi City, 543 from Diet, 658 from Crezon City, and 664 miles away from Manila. As you briefly saw there, there is now a Signal 1 warning in effect for Catanduanais in the Philippines which is very good considering that the storm is less than 48 hours away from landfall. The gas I will be updating in just an hour or two, so these warnings may be a little bit out of date. Right now, this is what these satellite estimates are saying. Satin running almost 200 miles an hour. Very impressive satellite signature right now on the storm. Ram, interestingly enough, is in agreement with our estimate of 190 miles an hour. Joint Typhoon Warning Center is going with 180 miles an hour at their next update. Interestingly enough, ADT going slightly lower at 165 and sat really lagging behind in the storm. This is our current forecast for the storm right now. We are forecasting gradual weakening as it approaches Luzon and a landfall intensity of 155 miles per hour. That is subject to change and forecasts could change, so be sure to stay updated to our local outlets for that change and weakening as it emerges into the South China Sea. This is what we're looking at rainfall threat-wise, however, for Goni. You can see a really large trail of high-end rainfall leading into Blue Zone, so we could be seeing high amounts of rainfall as Goni does push in land. You can also still see Tropical Depression at Sani behind Goni, potentially reaching Blue Zone, so that is something that we need to watch, watch out for in the coming days. This is for temperatures still will never be an issue for Goni right now. Still 30, 31 degrees Celsius under the storm. They will not be an issue up until landfall moves on. However, they still, they do indeed drop off a cliff once the storm gets into loot, gets into the South China Sea, and it will probably be a tropical storm by the time it reaches Vietnam. This is what the models are saying, pretty much the same, in agreement with a track forecast into Luzon and then a general westward movement towards Vietnam. So the track forecast pretty much remained in the same. It's just the intensity forecast that remains subject to change at this time. This is what the models are saying right now, unparalleled in intensity. 190 miles an hour, insane storm right now. Wind shear is at, is at pretty low numbers right now, five to 10 knots. It'll gradually rise over the next few hours, but then it'll decrease again, so this storm may not be done intensifying just yet. Relative humidity is forecast to be really the same, and sea river temperature is once again not an issue for the storm. Well, this is how it's looking right now. Outstanding satellite appearance. It's got an incredibly warm eye, 30 degrees Celsius at points. It's been maintaining an eye temperature around 25 degrees Celsius, well enough to maintain 190 miles an hour for at least a few hours, and microwave does indeed indicate there is not an eye replacement cycle in sight. Stay tuned to our local media outlets as we'll have more on Goni, Philippine name Raleigh, as it approaches Luzon over the coming days, and preparations should be underway in Luzon as the storm approaches. Stay safe as the storm approaches.